Mambo vipi karibu tena bana kwenye update uh, za Mamtoni na leo tuko na mtu mzima 50 cent pamoja na Rick Rose moja kati ya story ambayo imekuwa ikichukua headline sana ya mtu mzima 50 cent pamoja na Rick Rose hivi karibuni kulikuwa na back and forth za hapa na pale kati ya mtu mzima Rick Rose pamoja na 50 cent na imeonekana mara nyingi ni kama 50 cent amekuwa akiuchubua hivi kutokana na kile ambacho Rick Rose amekuwa akikifanya akidai kwamba wenda labda mshikaji akawa anamuongelea sana yeye ili aweze kuendelea kupata mashafu si ndio eh sasa Leo bana tumezungumzia hii issue ya Rick Rose uh, kuzungumza kuhusiana na kauli za 50 cent ambazo alizifanya kupitia podcast moja ya million dollar worth of the game. Mtu mzima 50 cent alihudhuria bana kwenye mdahalo huo katika hiyo podcast ya The Huma and Harmony huko uh, Sherve Port Luciana. Sasa walifanya mahojiano na kwenye hiyo podcast kuna mambo kadha kadha ambayo aliweza kuzungumzwa 50 cent alizungumza kwa nini Rick Rose anaendelea kumshambulia na kwa nini alikuwa akimcheka mpenzi wake wa zamani e, sasa mtu mzima 50 cent akapata nafasi ya kufunguka 50 cent alisema kwamba nimeona mara nyingi sana mtu mzima Rick Rose akitupa mashambulizi ya kutosha sana e, kwa msichana ambaye hata si siko naye tena na kinachoendelea kati yangu mimi na Rick Rose kimekuwa ni uh, jambo la muda mrefu sana na nimekuwa nikiona hakuna kitu kingine ambacho anakuwa anafanya kama kazi zake binafsi ama kutekeleza majukumu yake zaidi tu ya kuweza kunitaja mimi na anaponitaja basi anaendelea kuongelewa hata kama anakuwa anafanya skendo zake na vitu vingine lakini anapohusisha jina langu basi anakuwa kwenye ramani na haya ni mambo mabaya sana e, 50 alikazia kwenye podcast hiyo wakati anazungumza. Anasema hii itakuwa ni mbaya sana kwake kwa sababu mimi ni kama napata umakini wote ila sehemu ya uwasilishaji angalau unajua hili huwezi kulizungumza mbele ya watu na hili huwezi kulizungumza mbele ya watu. So kwa nini uh, yuko nje ya kutengeneza mazingira mazuri ya kwake binafsi na kuendelea kumshambulia yeye anajaribu kuokoa pesa zake ama hajataka kulipa mtu ambaye anakata nyasi Come on bro you can see this you don't need me to say this you know this yeah. Look at it What kind of rich nigga cut his own grass Why you out there cutting your own grass <laughs> You trying to save money nigga You don't want to pay for the lawn to get cut huh Let me ask you. AC broken in the motherfucker. Let me ask. Yani ni kama 50 cent amembuli hivi mtu mzima Rick Rose kudai kwamba uh, ni kama amefilisika mwenye mwezi na vitu kama vile pale. Sasa Rick Rose bana akakutana na hiyo podcast ya mtu mzima 50 cent na uh, kuamua kuikalia kimya. Rick Rose alipata hii habari akajibu bana kwenye crosswalk Instagram. Uh, kicheka sana eh kusema kwamba 50 cent kachagua upande wa Drake badala ya Kendrick Lamar kwenye mzozo kwa kusema kwamba 50 cent alipaswa kwa upande wa Dr. Dre ambaye alimweka sokoni badala ya kumuunga mkono uh, Drake ambaye yeye yeah, anadai kwamba Drake ni rapper kutokea pande za Canada so hakuona kama kuna enemies ya mtu mzima 50 cent kwa upande wa mtu mzima Drake ila angetakiwa kwa upande wa Kendrick Lamar kwa sababu Kendrick Lamar eh, yuko chini pia ya Dr. Dre na ukiangalia pia 50 cent alitolewa na mtu mzima Dr. Dre na vitu kama vile kwa hiyo uh, Rick Rose akajaribu ku criticize eh, hiyo uh, chosen side ya mtu mzima Uh, 50 cent anamwambia unajua unaweza kutumia ardhi yangu na mali yangu kupiga filamu zako ndogo ndogo kama unataka kwa sababu najua ume umenunua ardhi ya bei nafuu kwa eh, chef report Luciana na hiyo ndio ambao unaweza kuimudu bana umeona bana eh, eh, maneno fulani ya kijeli akawa anamtupia asema niona kipande cha mahojiano ambapo ulikuwa ukiojiwa 50 cent na mwingine akakuuliza maswali madogo madogo lakini swali ambalo lilipaswa kuulizwa ni kwa nini ulijitosa kwenye vita kati ya Magharibi na Canada nilidhani Dr. Dre ndiye aliyekuweka hapo kwenye ramani ambayo uko nayo nilidhani 
ukikuwa muaminifu kwa Dr. Dre kwa nini umekuwa upande wa Canada badala ya Dr. Dre lakini ulishindwa kusema chochote baada ya Canada kupoteza Borgwan hii ni sehemu ya majibu ya Rick Ross na inaonekana kwamba vita kati ya 50 Cent pamoja na Rick Ross haitaisha kamwe ni kama vile vita vya 50 Cent na Jaru ama 50 Cent na The Game hivi ni vita ambavyo 50 Cent inaonekana hataweza kuvimaliza kwa sababu vimejaa mambo makubwa zaidi kama risasi na mambo mengine mabaya uh, kwa kwa hiyo sijui unaweza kuzungumzaje kuhusiana na hili lakini 50 Cent Eh, kiukweli anaonekana ni mtu mbaye anaatakiwa sana na mtu mzima eh, Rick Rose. Ikiwa unataka uh, tufanye toleo jipya kuhusiana na 50 Cent dhidi ya Rick Rose, unadhani nani anaweza kushinda? Uh, unaweza kutujulisha kwenye maoni na vitu vingine kama hivyo lakini right by now unataka upate nafasi ya kumsikiliza mtu mzima Rick Rose akimnyea mtu mzima 50 Cent hapa. Amefunguka mambo kadhaa ambayo Baba na nafasi ya kuweza kuyasikiliza na uelewe kile ambacho amekizungumza bana. Kama jinsi ambavyo nimeweza kukuelezea tu kwa ufupi kile ambacho amekizungumza Rick Ross sasa hapo na nafasi ya kumsikiliza mwenyewe ndio yeye ambavyo alikuwa na brag na kujiache mnyamwezi Rick Ross. I just seen a clip of the Wallow show where he was interviewing 50 Cent and the other little dude asked him a question um small talk but Ultimately the question that should have been asked was You jumped out there during the beef the West Coast versus the Canadian and I thought Dr. Dre put you on. I thought Dr. Dre was the set. I thought you was loyal to Dr. Dre. You mean you went with the Canadian over Dr. Dre? Who who you, you say changed your life? I ain't know I thought loyalty I th But you did shut the fuck up once the Canadian took the L you got totally quiet you did so And so look this is where I want to have the ring at and thriller of Manila right in my front yard we got acres and acres and acres it'll be right here in the front yard You understand what I'm trying to say This what we'll put it at right here. We'll put it right here. This what I wanted at. Thriller and Manila. I have 15,000 people right here, just right here in the front yard for the car show. This what we going to put it at. And 50 cent, whatever you trying to do in Shreveport, I understand the land is very inexpensive. So that's why you chose that, but you could put that on the other side. in my backyard. I got another 150 acres on the back side. I won't even notice whatever y'all little thing is y'all doing. We wouldn't even have to cross each other paths. I'll put you way in the back. Trust me, y'all could film all y'all little whatever shows. Ghost part now. I just seen a clip of the Wallow show where he was interviewing 50 Cent and the other little dude asked him a question um small talk. But ultimately the question that should have been asked was You jumped out there during the beef the West Coast versus the Canadian and I thought Dr. Dre put you on. I thought Dr. Dre was the set. I thought you was loyal to Dr. Dre. You mean you went with the Canadian over Dr. Dre? Who who you, you say changed your life? I ain't know. I thought loyalty I thought uh, But you did shut the fuck up once the Canadian took the L. You got totally quiet. You did. So. And so look, this is where I want to have the ring at and thriller of Manila. Right in my front yard. We got acres and acres and acres. It'll be right here in the front yard. You understand what I'm trying to say? This what we'll put it at right here. We'll put it right here. This why I wanted that. Thriller and Manila. I have 15,000 people right here, just right here in the front yard for the car show. This what we going to put it at. And 50 cent, whatever you trying to do in Shreveport, I understand the land is very inexpensive. So that's why you chose that. But you could put that on the other side in my backyard. I got another 150 acres on the back side. 
I won't even notice whatever y'all little thing is y'all doing. We wouldn't even have to cross each other paths. So I'll put you way in the back. Trust me, y'all can film all y'all little whatever shows. Ghost part nine.